Did you watch the previous video? I think I've got some questions to answer. Why did we keep the baby news a secret for so long? That is gonna take more than me to just answer, so. And boy, did you send them in. So here we go, an unedited Q&A session. Wait till the end of the video and you'll be introduced to somebody new. Not the baby, that starts tomorrow. But what I wanted to do was just say a huge thank you for all the support so far from the big surprise. I know it was a huge shock. Just everyone's kind of come together to just give me a big old push of love and I just wanted to say thank you. It is the more than you know. And obviously one big question, I wanna see baby mum. Just wait a few minutes. What age will he or she be down at the gym? As soon as possible. I want them to grow up enjoying the outdoors, activities, being physical, being out in nature, not. <laughs> but then getting them involved in sports, Thai boxing or Jiu Jitsu. I definitely think that is a very solid foundation to get kids involved with. If you ingrain it when they're young, it will bleed into their future. Is this the first of many? Just let me deal with the one for now. <laughs> must be fitness i recognize you from the crew cast our podcast that we have out every monday if you're not checking that out make sure link is in the description we cover a huge amount of topics on there from mental health to training to whiskey cigars movies lifestyle hacks we also have guests on from doctors to mental health workers to bodybuilders there's a whole array of things so if you haven't checked it out check that out and he has in fairness asked a very big question that many of you will probably want an answer to and that is how make bobby well, what you do is it's you Go and you put yourself out into the world and you let the universe's energy draw two of your souls together then when they souls in to combine and twine you will mesh within the ultimate cosmos of which we all are born and then you do it when can we see you with a short short haircut and trim beard bro beard question baby beard <laughs> and never it's quite literally a boom baby yes james it is Oh, we're bringing back Boom Baby much more as well. With the vlog style channel coming back in. With the unity. What's the meaning of becoming a parent? And how does a baby afford the freedom of becoming someone else? Bro. Bro. I don't... I don't... What? The parents should, if they're doing their job, impart part of themselves, their morals, their wisdom, their teachings should pass in and they should be a, you know, a percentage of them. Do you want to feel ready to take this step? And do you feel nervous? Do you know what? I didn't feel nervous until two days ago when I obviously realized the timeline was coming to a crunch because I've been so focused on getting things in order. When I've now brought the focus in of the hospital and everything coming to a head, and I did get a sudden, you know, like, nervous rush. I'm not nervous about it. what's to come. It's more just making sure that when it happens, that everything's okay. <laughs> what's this got to do with anything? Is it good or bad to practice no fap? <laughs> well, if you want a kid, good. If you don't, probably bad. How do you feel about becoming a dad? Wish you all the best, mate. Love your content. Thank you, sir, Metal Barber. I feel excited, slash nervous, slash excited. I'm ready to see how it all just, because I don't think there's any comparison. Well, we'll soon bloody find out. Are you scared to be a dad? Do you have any advice for this? Because I kind of am. Um, yes, I have advice. <laughs> have that attitude because it's coming and we're gonna to have to deal with it. I am confident that within our genetic makeup, what we are as men, what we need to do, we will be able to do. You are capable. Too many people doubt themselves, so do not doubt yourself in this avenue. No, you're not gonna have all the answers. No, it's not gonna be easy, but can you cope with it? Yes. Are you gonna to wanna to cope with it? Yes. Are you gonna to want to do the best that you can do for that kid? At 100% yes. Who's your stylist? And seriously, your outfits are always so cool. <laughs> I love the fact that some of you are like, baby, cool story, bro, but I don't, I am my stylist. Cut my own hair, do my own beard, and most of my clothes are bought from thrift stores that I go trooping around on weekends. Because one, I like vintage clothing, two, the money's going to charity most of the time, and three, you find stuff that nobody else is gonna be wearing. It's like he's been on an adventure without you and you don't quite know what he's been up to. When you don't know what you're looking for until you see it, and that can then create entire looks. That's what I like about it. What was your first reaction when you found out? I was relieved and let me explain. We didn't know whether it was possible for her to have a child because of thing called polycystic ovaries. Now, that was being monitored by doctors. When she rang me from the doctor, she sounded distressed. I thought she had cancer. So when she said she was pregnant, I was double happy and double relieved. For me, it was just like a, oh, wow. 
and many times it will not and it will be a shock and it will be a stress and all of these things but if life is something you've created you need to stand by that and you need to step up regardless so even if right now you're in a situation where it isn't in that perfect scenario you can only do the best that you can do and the most important thing is that you do that you step up and make the best of it and if you can fix things you fix things and if you can't you simply make it the best environment that you can for that little one that's good enough congratulations your kid is going to grow up with a lot of laughs i hope so because i think laughter is literally medicine that is one thing that is missing from a lot of people's lives and that's a sense of humor too many people are too easily offended too many people are always looking for something to be offended by to always find the comedy in something is a gift and it's something that should be imparted it's something that should be enjoyed you are going to build somebody that hopefully find a positive in a negative and that's huge if you can if you can impart that then the more laughs, the better. Will you be a hands-on dad and how are your gag reflexes? <laughs> Yes, I'll be a hands-on dad. I grew up with three younger sisters, and so I still have in these memory banks times with a baby and nappies and all that going on. But there is that difference where I'm not gonna be able to just give it back. You know, it's making smells and it looks like it's gonna vomit. There you go. On terms of the gag reflexes, I'll keep it bitten by the changing table. What the is going on? I know, bro. What the f Do you want a boy or a girl? I really don't care, honestly. It really doesn't matter in the big scheme of things. Do we know what we're having? No. Because when it is conceived, it is what it is. You cannot change it, you can't do anything about it. So what is the point in knowing? So you can like pick a color for a room? No. I think it's much more fun to enjoy the entire journey than whatever is there as long as it's healthy. It's a gift, isn't it? So just enjoy the surprise. And we'll be taking you along for the ride, so you will get to experience it with us. What's the one thing you're looking forward to teaching your kid? Um, that is a tough question. Like teaching them to swim, be able to ride a horse, ride bikes, obviously the moral side of things. Overall, if it was to be like a one thing that encompasses it, one looking forward thing to rule them all, I guess it would be to teach them to follow their passion. Whatever it is that ignites their fire at the time is to just go with it. Don't be deterred because it might not be the normal thing that some people do, but I think that will be the one of the biggest. How does being a father change perspective in life? It just makes me want to kind of get my shit in order. I think that will really kick in double once they arrive. Are you ready mentally to be in charge of a little one? Right, well, mentally, I'm still pretty childish and I don't think that is going to hinder me. I think that's gonna help me because if I can think like them, I can figure out what they're thinking. And if I can figure out what they're thinking, I can stay one little step ahead. Bring it on. What are you most excited about in terms of becoming a new dad? I guess seeing the way it's gonna change me and my mentality. I'm hoping that I'm gonna to rise to the occasion and it's gonna show me what I'm really capable of when there's something more than me. I just think genetically there's something in us that switches on that you will instantly kill or die for this little thing that's just absolutely helpless. It'll be interesting. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I don't know. <laughs> okay, have you thought about slowing yourself down pending the new arrival? No, because I got really sick at the beginning of this year and that slowed me down and I am an absolute misery when I'm not allowed to just crack on and get things done. In fact, I'm gonna give myself more to do because I think when I'm under pressure and when I've got goals and when I'm driven, when it, because I have stuff to do, that's when I'm at my best. Completely surprised, mate. When's the next motorbike video? Cool story, bro. When's the motorbike video up? <laughs> Basically, when the weather changes and we can actually ride them again, the moment the seasons flip, bike logs are back, BMW build of the James Bond bike. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. No, don't do, don't do, don't do, Sean Connery, you can't do it. Sean, Sean Connery, stay tuned. You're gonna change poopy nappies too. Yep. How much flex will you build into your new training? All of the caffeine, some or none. Okay, so my training is pretty flexible anyway at the moment. I am doing multiple body parts a week. So when I go in, it can be quite organic. Caffeine, nah, I'm not gonna boost anything like that. I don't wanna become reliant on stimulants. I use that uh, my protein pump enhancer, but it's basically just citrulline, beta alanine and arginine. So it's just like blood flow and pump. Some caffeine, definitely, because I love coffee, but I'm not gonna be dosing myself with caffeine. When's the sidecar for the little one being attached to the 007 bike? <laughs> If a sidecar is what it's going to take to get the kiddie on a bike, I'll probably get some old, like, retro bike that does 
20 miles an hour. The bikes are definitely going to be a part of this kid's life. Working on them, riding them, building them. Yes. Have you figured out how you'll balance being a new dad with your content schedule? Okay, so this is why I'm bringing back the vlogs because the easiest way that I'm going to be able to keep content coming and the most benefit for both parties, myself and you guys, is going to be inviting you back in to just raw life because there's gonna be many challenges, there's gonna be many hurdles, so if I can get over them, I can show you guys how we do that, including all the times I probably don't and have to get back up and try again. And hopefully through all that, I'll learn, you'll learn, and I'm looking forward to inviting you all back into what originally started it all. I'll try and make it entertaining for you along the way. Not really a question, but what? I know. What? Will the baby be brought up on rock and roll? You would best believe this kid's gonna love Guns N' Roses. And Iron Maiden. And Limp Biscuit. Kid Rock. Stained. Yeah. I'm expecting my first two. How do I support my gorgeous lady properly in the last trimester? Right, if you don't know what the last trimester is, that's like the final stages of the pregnancy. And it's when the women are getting to their biggest in terms of their tummy and the size of their uterus. Basically, you've got a human sitting right between your hips and your ribs and your body no longer bends like this. To answer your question, literally support her. You know all the pillows that you've got on your bed already from when you found out and then they bought like eight more? Double that. There'll be you and then here will just become a human pillow fortress slash monster, but it'll help. Try and keep the mood moving and active because it will help with the aches and pains and let them know you're proud of them. And, and then just step back because more than likely, oh, <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, the hormones are crazy. What accent and voice will you be doing for the baby? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I actually had a thought about this the other day, and I thought, like, 1950s gangster. Hey, what are you doing? Ah, wise guy, huh? <laughs> I quite like that. Imagine the little hat. Ah, <laughs> wise guy, huh? Trying to steal my milk, were you, huh? These are my boobies. <laughs> These are my boobies, see? <laughs> ah, you're going to be a dad. How have both sets of families and friends reacted? Amazingly. Right now, we have an entire tribe in the house who have arrived this evening because tomorrow it all starts and they're all here to help. What was the actual due date was the 2nd of Feb. So it's been induced tomorrow, which is the 27th. So yeah, it's not far off what it would have been anyway. Will you share your baby's pictures on social media? Totally understand if you decide not to. Um, yes, only because the whole vlog thing's gonna be coming back. So it's all gonna be intertwined. This has been my life for many years and you guys who follow me are astoundingly nice. I appreciate you all. You, you do nothing but give me positive vibes. So, so I would expect absolutely no difference. I can only see it being a positive thing. Plus, you know, it's gonna be protected by these bad boys. So last question from just this guy. What kind of dad do you see yourself as? Firm, fair and fun. Okay then. I think it's time we went and got somebody else. Are you ready? First time on the camera. Hi. Hi. <laughs> get that over the pump. Is that as close as you can get? Yeah. Introduce yourself. Hello. <laughs> I myself. So this is baby mama. Mm. This is Bianca. You're going to see much more of this lady because we're opening you up to the vlogs. Looking forward to it. Yeah. It is now literally the morning of. I have T minus 40 minutes until we need to leave to go to the hospital. And I am now high key freaking out. I was low key, then there was medium this morning when I woke up, now it's high. We're two minutes away from running around screaming. Yeah, you're doing very well. You've been impressive, but you have a couple of questions to answer. Well, one was who the baby mama? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> if you had no resistance on picking a name, what would it be? Would it still be the ones we picked? Yeah, I didn't have any resistance. Well, that's what I thought when I read the question. Just one we disagreed on, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, the project. <laughs> yeah. How did we meet? I followed you on Instagram and I messaged you. Because you stood in dog poo. Because I stood in dog poo? Yeah, and I thought it was really funny. Yeah. It was meant to be. <laughs> yeah, not like Nanny and Grandad. Go yeah. on, tell that little story. So, my nanny was um, at the bus stop waiting to go on a date. So nanny who is currently downstairs. Yeah. My granddad walked past her and said, where are you going? And she said, oh, I'm just going off on a date. And he said, no, you're not. You're coming with me. And that was it. And then 60 years later, they were still together. That was that. I mean, it's minor low-key kidnapping. Yeah. <laughs> 
So I've already answered this one, but what was your general reaction to finding out? Oh, well, mine was completely different to yours. Did you explain? So I told them how when you rang me, I thought you were ill. Yeah, you thought I was dying. <laughs> so oh, I was very ill the day before. That's why I went to the doctors, you remember? And then found out. Yeah, I cried. <laughs> <laughs> I sat in the car and cried, and I was, I was shaking so much. I, I was just so scared to tell you. I don't know what I thought you were going to be like, to be honest. But your reaction to it made me feel completely different. What took the worry out? Yeah, because you were, you said you were smiling. And it, oh yeah, I remember I was that, yeah. freaking out and you were happy. <laughs> Magic bean. Not able to have any, and then... There you go. Yeah. Magic bean. But it's been a bumpy ride, but we're there now, aren't we? One of the main reasons was obviously, why did we hide for so long? Because um, it was a bumpy ride. There was a lot of fear and there was things that did go wrong. And I was really ill and it was just one thing after the other. And then every time it was fine, but there was like week by week, there was endless possibilities was of just, it being a, yeah. a sad outcome. There's a couple of things we had to watch. One was called a low pap A. Yours came out slightly low at the beginning. So then that obviously was a high risk throughout the pregnancy, but it was actually low risk as it went further along. The baby growth is above the 50th percentile, so everything that we needed to be okay was not just okay, it was like in the upper sectors. Yeah. But at every stage, there was always something that could change or could go wrong or could be an issue. And that has been that way really all the way up until... Today. Yeah, really. Yeah. We only saw the consultant like two weeks ago. Yeah. Who then gave us kind of like a green light on everything. And yeah. hence then we now had a mad panic and rush to get all this <laughs> up and ready and going. And it is literally now, ugh, we are 33 minutes away from having to leave to go to the hospital. Yes. So we're going to go do that right now. Um, Ask them all the questions you want. And that's it. We're done for now. More, if you've got more, put them in the comment section. And um, the baby mama. I am. <laughs> and two will soon become three. Yes. <sighs> Thanks for all the love. We do appreciate it. And um, welcome to the journey. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> As if you remember to say something like that. <laughs> okay. Boop. We're done.